Okay, you guys, here is Coco. And here is my front door. The ceilings are super, super tall. They are 10 foot ceilings. And so, that's the front door. And to the right of the front door is the HVAC unit. So the door, you can't open it, because um, I don't, won't need that. And then turning this way, this is my living space. So in this apartment, it's turned around. Usually, you know, the kitchen is first and then the living space. But um, in this apartment, the living space is first, which is okay. So I'm gonna step back and here is my living room. And then up here, there's these things called um, circadian lights. So they change colors during the day. I don't have them on right now. I'm not quite sure how to turn them on. I have to figure that out. Okay, focus. And here is the entire living space. These nice hardwood floors, which I love. And then this apartment does have a nest, which is really nice. So I'm really happy about that. And then from the living space, you have the kitchen and which is my actually my favorite part of my apartment and let me take you guys through so it's the double um door fridge i have nothing in there right now fridge freezer combo and then it has a decent amount of storage space and what i love is these cabinets are so tall. They go all the way up here. I can only touch the, there, so I need like a little step stool. I'm about five, six, so I need that. Then the flat top stove. I actually have never cooked on the flat top stove, so I am curious to see how that's gonna be. And then I love this huge sink. You all, this sink is super, super deep and it has this function where it's fast so i just press a button and it goes like that so i'm actually really really happy about that dishwasher more cabinet space let me back up and then i have the island right here here's some plugs in the island and some more storage space i can put like some plants um and then if i turn this way you have these three huge door that's gonna let in a lot of nice light. And this is my balcony out there. Um, and then through this door is my washer and dryer. And it's a full size washer and dryer, which is very, very nice. Um, little light turns on and really happy about that. And then on this side, you have um, some more storage space. So I put, you know, brooms, vacuum, um, washing things, you know, just the normal things. Um, and also I plan to, I have a L-shaped couch, so I plan to put it on this wall and then I will begin my TV mounted on this wall. Um, I think they come on Friday. So this is my desk area. So I do work completely from home. So it's important for me to have an apartment with a desk area. It's not very big, but I think it'll do the job. I shouldn't have any issues. I do plan to put some additional shelving like up here just to keep like books and things like that. When you have a small apartment, it's really important to use everything as like a storage space as well. I'm, going, I'm coming from a 1200 square foot apartment to a like 750 square foot apartment so if you guys are interested in learning like how i um maximize storage space without feeling cluttered because i hate clutter let me know and i'll definitely do a video on it but yeah i got a chair to put here my um computers will go right here and then there's these nice large um nice large storage units and again um it goes all the way up 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 so i gotta get a little steps to it and they have them on both sides excuse all the things that are in there but they have them on both sides and so i think one i'll use just as storage and then the other one i'm going to use as a pantry or like maybe i'll use the bottom part as a pantry and for some of my um like kitchen appliances and things so 
here is another pan view of the kitchen. And then I'm gonna go into my bedroom. So this apartment has one bedroom, one bathroom. So there is a fan up here, which I love. Let me turn the lights on so you guys can see. But here's the bedroom. The bedroom is carpeted. I'm not a fan of this carpet, to be honest, but I'm gonna make it work. <laughs> So the bedroom is a decent size and it has this little nook over here, which I also really like. I'm gonna put my vanity over here and I think this space is gonna be the space that I kind of do my videos and you know, the background for that. So um, it's a really good size bedroom. And then you go here and here is the closet. So let me turn the light on for you all. It's really weird, the light is behind the door. <laughs> um, but here is the closet. Good size closet space. And it's a walk-in closet. It goes all the way back, round. So definitely great closet space, I love it. Really, really nice. And then from the closet, here is the bathroom. There's only one bathroom and there's only one way into the bathroom. Let me find the light. <laughs> there's only one way into the bathroom, which is through the bedroom. I'm not the biggest fan of that, but since I'm moving to Nashville, I don't have a lot of guests over. Don't know anyone yet. Um, it's just me and Coco, as you see. Um, it won't be too much of an issue for me right now. But it's double sinks which I love, and then you have more storage space, which I love, and the sinks, these make me so happy, these double sinks, and it's the same, um, I think these are quartz countertops, so same countertops as in the kitchen, same cabinetry, then you have this nice, large mirror, and that's me, hey girl, hey, um, you have this nice large mirror with these lights on the side. I love these lights. I think they're really cute. And then I love this little um, towel hanger right here. I think that's really nice as well um, to put a cute little decorative towel for my guests. Um, I really want this space to be more like a oasis. Like I want it to be still like a spa, you know, because it has these neutral colors and it's very like relaxing. I really want it to be, Coco's already loving it, but I really want it to have like a spa-like spa feel. So I plan to put like an orchid plant here. I don't like a lot of things on my counter. So I definitely plan to use this spacing and maximize it as much as possible. Um, and then, you know, put like a, a little shelf right here or something like I. I plan to do a lot in here um, to make it just feel really comfortable. And I may put like a shelving unit right here. Not quite sure yet because I do have behind the door, there's this big empty space. And so I do plan to put a large picture here or something here to fill this, fill this space because it's pretty empty. And then here is my other favorite part of this apartment is this tub shower so i'm actually a shower girl i'm not gonna lie i like taking a good hot shower so i was actually looking forward to having a like a stand-up shower i really felt like i didn't need a bathtub but this apartment doesn't have a stand-up shower so i was like okay but it has a big deep garden tub and so i may become a tub person who knows i do plan on taking a nice bath in it so I love this and I love the gray. So I definitely plan to get some eucalyptus to hang from the shower. And it came with this huge rain shower head, which I absolutely love. I do wish this gray tile, <clears throat> excuse me, I do wish this gray tile went all the way to the top though. That would have been like, it would have been literally perfect. But I do think this is a very nice shower tub very deep very large um i do plan to put also one of those little shelves that you can kind of put across and you guys i hate having like um you know like stains 
from like where you have like your body wash or your soap sitting on the bathtub. I don't like those. So I think in like this corner, I'll hang up like a little chef shelf to put um, my body wash and you know, shower, shower things at. So super excited to use this space, you guys. So super, super excited and then back in the bedroom.